Uh-oh, I gotta pick up that bird feeder. It'll get trampled by sheep. Isn't that right? Hello, you. They're looking good. They're doing a great bit of work on the ivy there. It'll make the snowdrops, wood anemones, crocuses more efficient in their help to the pollinators. Isn't that right, boys? <laughs> this area is fenced off because this is St. John's Wart and it's not poisonous to sheep, but it makes their, if they do eat it, they then uh, get sun sensitive to light and they, all kinds of skin problems occur and things like that. You'll see some of my sheep have kind of bare skin and that's because they've eaten St. John's wort, which makes their skin sun sensitive. And those sheep, it was the wild St. John's wort, which is out in the fields, is uh, what they ate. This is the cultivated one, so that might be make the sheep more, even more sensitive. I don't know. So that's why that area is fenced off, so they won't eat it. Not right. Yeah, how are you boys? <laughs> <laughs> Java, enough. They are no need any extra help to run for the food. Uh -uh. Java, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Good boy. Come here. Come here. Come on. Good boy. Now you gotta leave them alone. Yeah. There's a good boy. Good boy. Uh -uh. Nope. Come on. Inca. Leave him be. Java. Good boy. Atta boy. And a little bit. Brindle, leave it. Leave her be. Leave her be. Go on a little bit. Brindle, Brindle, Brindle. Go on a little bit. <laughs> <laughs>